the 2000 AD Clegg figure from Haya Toys. This figure is just such an insane amount of fun. I love this goofy bastard. You've probably seen him in the background of at least half the videos I did this year. <laughs> I had a lot of fun with it. Just there's no way it couldn't make the list. The Batman 89 Batman with Batmobile from McFarlane Toys. This is a very late addition to the list. I only got this recently. However, um, just I'm kind of blown away. This does not even feel like a McFarlane figure. It just articulates exceptionally well. It does have a little bit of the stiff joints and the, you know, the um, spikes on the back of the gloves are definitely still very sharp. But uh, other than that, like visually, articulation wise, just an absolutely killer figure. From one caped crusader to another, this time with the AEW ringside exclusive, very nice, very evil edition Danhausen figure from Jazzwares. This figure just has great accessories, fantastic articulation, the likeness is spot on, uh, and that cape just absolutely rules. So uh, yeah, it's a fantastic figure overall. The Rumble Society Bartholomew Vex figure from Mezco Toys. And this is only my second Mezco figure, but uh, I am totally enamored with this. Just er every detail of it is amazing. It's a very simple design, but very effective. The uh, amount of accessories you get with this are just mind blowing. So the options are pretty much limitless. Just a very, very impressive figure. The Book of Boba Fett, Boba Fett figure from SH Figure Arts. What can I say beyond this is probably my favorite Boba Fett figure period in my collection. And, you know, it improved upon everything that, you know, I personally had gripes with, with the um, Mandalorian version that of Boba Fett that SH Figure Arts did. And, you know, plus you get that sweet throne with this. So uh, yeah, just overall really, really strong piece. The Action Force Pandora figure from Valiverse. Now for this spot, I had definitely switched numerous times between Pandora, Warpath Eclipse, and the recently released Gemini, just because they're all the same base figure with different accessories, color schemes, and head sculpts, obviously, as they're different characters, but I just kept coming back to Pandora. I really like the dynamics with the colors and the weapons that she comes with and the, the face sculpt, just the really cool and effective stuff. Um, but honestly, any of those three could have taken this spot, but in any event, Valiverse is killing it. <laughs> the Soar's Oak Warriors Triax Skiver, Skiver figure from Boss Fight Studio. This is exactly what I want to see more companies doing um, retro philosophy and kind of design aesthetics, but modern approach. And uh, yeah, this absolutely nails all of that. Plus, anthropomorphic dinosaurs. The Ultra Street Fighter 2 Fei Long figure from Jada Toys. I think Fei Long is probably the perfect character to kind of showcase what Jada wants to do with this line. It's a basic design. Um, it kind of shows off what the articulation can do and just it's that those are just all great things coming from Jada. They have absolutely been a breakout star this year. And uh, this figure, I think, pretty much distills that down to a T. The Ultraman Zafi figure from Spectrum ACG. This figure has to be felt to be believed. And what I mean by that is that the uh, articulation is just so fluid uh, and unbelievable that it's hard to describe it and kind of get that across on camera. Uh, it really rivals all the best SH figures and bests a number of them. Uh, all that and at a larger scale with light up effects and at a lower price. The Legends of Lucha Libre Wave 2 Lady Maravilla figure from Boss Fight Studio and Mass Republic. And I've spoken at length about this figure just you know, aesthetics are top notch. The articulation is unmatched. It's incredibly fun to pose. Balance is on point, as you can see. Just, yeah, I cannot recommend this one enough. It just absolutely kind of sets the bar for me for a lot of figures. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's saying a lot. 
the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Ultimates Tyrannosaurus Sword figure from Super 7. This was number one at my halfway through the year list and it still just holds as a fantastic figure. Uh, as I had said in that video, just this, this is everything I've wanted out of a Tyrannosaurus Sword figure. The articulation is definitely great. The uh, aesthetics are absolutely on point. Uh, it's just a fun figure and it absolutely sparks joy when I see this on the shelf. The Jurassic World Hammond Collection Juvenile Tyrannosaurus and Carnotaurus figures from Mattel. Yes, this is a tie. I know uh, my year and less I usually have at least one tie and here it's for second place. Just how can I pick between these two? And I know the Juvenile T-Rex was definitely like a spot lower uh, in the midway list, but just the more time I've, I've had to kind of experience it and I've bought a lot more. You can see one in the background. <laughs> Uh, just it's it's so fun it's everything it should be and the the more I'm just overjoyed with what Hammond collection has been putting out and the Carnotaurus is really kind of next level just these two are kind of perfect examples of why I love this line so much why I've kind of gone back and definitely made sure I've just filled in all the gaps and just picked up everything I can just absolutely phenomenal figures And at number one, to the surprise of absolutely no one who watches this channel, my favorite figure of the year is the Dinosaur Battlefield Tyrannosaurus King Bloodblade figure from Axie Toys. I've been waiting for this since it was announced. Uh, I Even before it was announced, when it was teased in the packaging of the Carnotaurus Warriors, I was just set and waiting for it. And this delivers on absolutely every level, articulation, sculpt, paint, accessories, just everything here is completely beautiful it meets expect expectations and passes it and honestly to have something in plastic form that's at least a very close analog to my true form uh that's just amazing and there's no way these were not going to be number one uh well there, there was that they, they could have disappointed but they absolutely have not and the fact that they met those expe expectations pardon me and surpassed them absolutely secures their place at number one and one last time, all together, my top 13 figures of 2023. So there you have it. There's my top 13 figures of 2023. So really what I want to know is, you know, do we have any crossover? What is your list? And, uh, you know, what, overall, just what did you think of the state of action figures this year? Personally, I think it was pretty crazy. There was some really good stuff that came out. I think 2022 was maybe slightly stronger in certain respects, but 2023 definitely pulled through at the end. And uh, yeah, just crazy overall. It's unreal some of the stuff we're getting. So uh, with all of that being said, I really hope that you found this video entertaining. And if you haven't been here before, welcome. And I hope you know you, you found enough here to kind of implore you or to kind of motivate you to watch some other videos. And, uh, you know, for those of you who have been here before, welcome back. And, you know, I, I hope that you've had a fantastic year. I hope you got some great stuff this year. And uh, I hope that continues in the next year. This should be the last video that goes up this year in 2023 for my channel. And then we'll see what happens in 2024. So uh, with all that being said, I just ultimately hope you are well. I hope that all of your toy dreams come true both now and in the next year. And uh, I hope that you and yours stay weird, Simeon. Thank <laughs> you.